They call it March Madness, and there's a reason for it, maybe one you don't know. We continue our team coverage, WCI 3's Cole Hankey live in Athens. And Cole, you are actually where it all started, and it comes with quite a story. That's right, a Naismith Basketball Hall of Famer started his career right behind me at Athens High School over 100 years ago. Now, he didn't play in the NBA, and he didn't hit any famous shots, but you'd be hard-pressed to find another member who had a bigger impact on the game than H.V. Porter. He was a Renaissance man in the 20th century. H.V. Porter first stepped into the Athens High School gym in 1918. Porter coached the basketball team to a second place finish at the state tournament in 1924. The entire school has been rebuilt around that gym, but the court, the hoops, and even the scoreboard remain. But for those people who, who were born here, grew up here, and continue to live here, and who have spent a lot of time researching, you know, H.V. Porter and his importance to Athens and basketball, I think it's a really important to the community. It's a perfect metaphor for his impact on basketball. The game is completely different from when he coached in the 1920s, but the foundations he laid are still core parts of the game. It's hard not to watch any kind of basketball game and not appreciate his influence on the game itself. H.V. Porter went on to become a revolutionary for the game of basketball. During his time with the IHSA, he called the state basketball tournament a name that will live on forever. It is special every time you hear that phrase, March Madness. It's really one of the deep feelings of pride that we feel every time we say it, write it, or hear somebody else say it, because it started here in Illinois. He also came up with the current design for the backboard, and his influence is also in the rules of the game. It was his idea that players have to cross half court in 10 seconds, and he did away with the rule that there was a jump ball after every made basket. He probably came up with those ideas while he was coaching here, you know, actually watching and coaching the game. Now, I left out one other change that Porter had for the game. He's the one that designed the current version of the basketball. And to give you an idea of just how far ahead of his time he was, this is what a basketball looked like when he coached here in the 1920s at Athens High School. Now, Jennifer, Jessica, I'm not going to pretend like I have a good jumper right now anyway, but I know for a fact that I can shoot this ball better than that overinflated football. All right, well, you're also palming the ball, which is very impressive to us. So great story. Cole, thank you so much.